Hey y'all, Mad's Mama Bear here, and with a cute little co-host. Hello, <laughs> and Sarah, an extra co-host. Uh, they are not going to stay like this. Well, fur furball isn't at least. Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure who's hanging out in the chat right now, but to quote my other drawstream co-host, uh, "Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night." Uh, some, most of you will, or some of you will be aware, excuse me, Cara, I started drawing Jon Stewart on Sunday on Mockney's channel. Yeah, Mockney Draws. And if you missed that, please go back, check him out. And by all means, you know, if you haven't subscribed to him, subscribe. He's a fantastic artist like comic worthy artist and I'm going to have him blushing if he's in the chat because making him blush is fun and hi dastardly another one of my handsome ghosts mm. and speaking of handsome hi Zacharot and little bear <laughs> hello She's going to be doing some drawing too, and I'll switch back. I'll shift the camera back and forth between us. I normally, I basically like to do this because <laughs> I like to draw. This is the second time that I've been live. <laughs> Head pats for Maki. Yep. <laughs> and Dastardly says hello to you. So he says to hello. Yes, he says hello, little bear. And hello, Dad Man Walking. Yes, it is massively fun making Maki blush. Even though I have yet to make him blush sufficiently enough to see it on his hand. To see it on his hand? But I, I am open to the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, like I said, you guys, most of you will probably remember I started this on Sunday. So, and I have made a few adjustments in the sketch. But at this point, I am ready to go to color. Mm -hmm. And hello, Bone. How you doing? And what guys remind me at some point, I will remember to put the tip jar up. Though exclamation tip is a good way to pull it up. Yes, the cat's cute. Uh, Zacharot also says howdy, little bear. Hi. And... Uh, yeah. yeah, awesome to make it a family event. You know what? Uh, she likes to draw too, so. And it's a lot, e this makes my life sufficiently easier for that, this kind of stuff. That's honestly true. I do like to draw. <laughs> she does. And hey, Becky, how you doing? So I will be keeping an eye on the chat. I don't know if I've got any mods in here at this point. I should probably make Dastardly a mod at some point. <laughs> I, sh I should probably uh, put DC or Green Lantern or something in there. You know, think, thinking about that. Like, wh I'm not sure why someone would draw that John Stewart, but I, I could see the confusion. <laughs> oh, brightest day. How you doing? Yeah, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm not sure how to do it here. But I'm going to try. Uh, not sure. Not sure. I will add you at later on because I am not sure how to do this here. Oh, what? Hi, Michael. How you doing, handsome? Let's see. Let's work on blocking and some color. Let me see what color I should draw. Let me think what I should draw. Okay, <laughs> exactly. What question? Oh, the, the John Stewart thing. Yeah, I should totally put uh, DC in there. Oh, 
I'm just currently mixing up a custom brown color, not that you guys can see that. I'll shift just a little. My camera will work with me. Ah, there we go. Okay. So right now I'm just working on the highlight, the base color. A bit more yellow on that. Better. There we go. I start off with the with the base highlight color and I add the shading in after the fact of the deeper color to give that nice rich tone that goes so nicely with the the black skin. And I know I'm probably mumbling and I'm so sorry. Hey ancient one. Time Prophet, how you doing? Also, hi y'all. Your drawings are probably a bit... I actually don't know what to say. It's okay. Yeah. You're just hanging out with us. Mm-hmm. Oh, me. And that all of the fantastic people in the chat. And for once, the neighbors are actually being quiet, so this give a little hallelujah for that. Oh, I'm not sure what the cat is playing with. Probably some... Oh, oh, carp, he's trying to get into my chicken. Yeah. No. Oh. Ah. Maybe put that in the fridge. be here for a few minutes but after that I will have to go okay oh, I appreciate you popping in while you got while you can uh, working on a new model for my video I have a few problems with it yes dastardly cat will not be denied the chicken that's that's the problem with uh with buddy <laughs> yeah like if he spots chicken then he's gonna <sighs> take it yeah y you cannot turn your back on food yeah never because whether you intend to or not you are sharing it <laughs> yeah and believe it or not that even goes for lettuce yeah <laughs> I'm going to create a bit of a fade there, so put a little bit of skin in where I've got the hairline drawn. Okay, I'm going to take my blue. And some black to darken it up just a bit. Or a fair amount. Perfect. Okay. Now we got. Does we want to know how Green Lanterns work? Uh, she has not had the chance to be exposed to that yet. But. 
uh, you what is what is the Green Lantern power? Do you remember? Um. That's okay. Green Lanterns, they get their power from will. Yeah. Which is actually quite fascinating, being that it's not an actual emotion, it's a need. I love you. What? <laughs> Steal my paints. <laughs> Put it to the side. There. Has to be laying down. Yes, they, they do get their power temporarily from the ring. Um, and they have, each lantern has a, a portable lantern that's kind of like a battery for it. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, there is a, a main source. Mom, I'm trying to do a galaxy. Okay. And I can't do it if there's like, you know, something blocking my galaxy. Okay. Well, I can move that when you need it. Okay. To wet it more so I can paint. Okay, I'm ready for you to move it. Okay. How did I move? How did I move? How did I run out of black so fast? That's a fine detail brush. A fine detail brush? Mm hmm Okay. It's going to be a darker area anyway, so... Completely horrible. Mm -hmm. Everybody starts somewhere, baby. Can I have the paint palette? Let me shift things to make it easier for both of us. Okay. Okay. I thought you were uh, going to do markers, and I didn't check. That's my bad. Paint is definitely more fun to work with. Yeah, but... Still. Yeah, I give you that. Let's see. Checking back in on the chat. <laughs> no worries. This, this paint lasts a long time. <laughs> Okay. 
Let's make that a touch more blue. Better. Love this font. I, I will be completely transparent that I am largely um, taking this from a pre-existing drawing. But I, yeah, I, I'm not claiming it as 100% my own. This is my style in it. In light of the recent controversies surrounding artwork and all of that, you know, I'm just rather be transparent. Wait, you have to, uh, with this set, you have to do, leave, uh, empty spaces for. Okay, but can you make some white paint or something? I have, uh, white paint can be added afterwards with acrylic or, I know I've got a correction pen around here somewhere. Yeah, but I want to make a blossom tree and there's no pink. See, that's easy to do. What? Pink is just a lighter red. Give me a second. Let me finish blocking this in. Okay. See, if I want pink, take my red. and lots and extra water. And then I've got pink. See? Okay. Can you basically make blossoms for me while I draw the trunk? <laughs> I could. How are we doing? Loud car horns in your area. Huh? Yeah, there's usually uh, loud cars and buses and neighbors and all of that. I'm actually a little confused as to why it's so quiet at the moment. Not mad, but you know, just little confused about it. that. Maybe it's a little cold outside? No, no. Like it's not raining or anything. Maybe the kids got grounded and they just, like, you know, got grounded by their mom or something. I think the mom got grounded too in that case. Mm-hmm. Is that special paper? Um... It's a multimedia paper. I mean, eventually I do want to get proper watercolor paper. And if I was smart, I would actually have a... Not do it on the pad like this. I would actually have a separate thing that I would 
like tape it down to, to one, not only block off the borders, but to uh, minimize the warping that goes with this. Uh, some markers can go through to the next page, depending on them. But this is a, uh, a thicker art style paper. I think this is a proper art book. As you can see, love it. How many people I got? I've got five people in the chat right now. So here, let's just putting this in randomly. So I remember to actually click on that. And now with tomorrow being thirst day, um, I'm still debating actually as to what I should do for my drawing. Problem is, is like, yeah, neither of us have really a clue. How's that? No, it looks rosy. Apparently the wrong shade. It's okay. That's easily fixed. Sweetheart. Look. There you go. Get a little fresh water. Dab, dab, dab. Art is not always easy. Oh, thank you. I'll check to see if there's a message, because, yeah, I, I noticed that after the fact. <laughs> it, that, that is kind of living dangerously. I'll give that to you. <laughs> that, that's part of the reason why I'm trying to shift things around and You know, that way I can also have, like, you know, pictures behind me and all that stuff.
Hi, sweetie. It's been enjoyable, but it's quitting time. Time to hit the road. Yeah. Okay. Uh, catch you later, Dad Man. Okay. Yeah, actually, I have a, a Bluetooth keyboard kicking around here. I should sync it up. Make my life easier. But if it's worth anything, you guys aren't actually seeing through the laptop, clearly. But yes, it is on the table. So I appreciate, I appreciate the worry. You guys are every right to be. Yeah, the you can only get when it comes to the comic book style so much from like real athletes. Though I, I do, you know, see a lot of I get I get a lot, you know, a lot of bodybuilders and wrestlers and all of that following me for some reason. It's the wrestlers that follow me that confuses me. I'm again not complaining, but. When it comes to comic book style, there's only so much you can actually get for inspiration for muscle structure from real life. Because even when it comes to men, it's exaggerated. Like this one guy I follow on Instagram, is, um, they, they call him Champ. And he is the closest thing to like a human bulldog that I've ever seen. But even he doesn't have the same kind of definition that you see in your standard uh, muscle, you know, your standard comic book character. Michael, oh, thank you, sweetheart. Okay, yeah, I'm going to pop over and check. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, baby. I'm building a spaceship for three days, and it's starting to take shape. Nice. Hope you post pictures of it. Uh, trouble with comics is that all the characters have the same body template, but with a different head. Uh, for the most part, yes. They, they do have a very similar template. So I'll give you that. Let me uh, refresh this page. God, you guys are fantastic. Let's see. Hi. What happened? Stupid. Oh, get off. <laughs> He's so cute. Go get no. Oh. 
Oh, thank you guys so much. Where is it? There it is. It'll be in your new video. That is awesome. Awesome. There we go. What's wrong? Hold on. She is so right. I am being reminded. I promised I would share the drawing back and forth. So, what what are you working on, Sweet Pea? I'm working on a blossom tree. That is looking awesome. While you do that, I am going to check on the chat. Oh, we got uh, Megatron in the house. How you doing? What you need? <laughs> yeah, she she will need uh, some green paint probably. Or markers, and I've got lots of those. Oop, sorry. There you go, love. Ah, yes, for those who are just popping in, the other artist is my daughter, actually. So I'm going to try and do this for most, for some of my drawing streams, you know, so when she's kicking around, if it's during the day, you know, let her sit in and draw. Because this is, I've said it a hundred times, this is how we, you know, create fandoms. This is how we, you know, just share, we share what we love. Because that's the most, most authentic part of ourself. My mother loved watching Star Trek and Wonder Woman and Charlie's Angels. You know, so we. That's the stuff I learned to, to love. In fact, uh, when The Next Generation came around, we would even have discussions about uh, some of the episodes afterwards.
because that was the beautiful thing about Star Trek, is it encouraged discussions, thought, you know, thought process, thinking. Uh, <laughs> um, as much as I would love to have Maki over here, yeah, <laughs> that would be big, big news. <laughs> like we would, uh, there would be like lots of posts about that on Twitter and all of that. Twitter, Instagram. Now, honestly, I don't even think that they've uh, opened up the border yet. shift back. There we go. Yes, he is in California. Hello, Thomas Goki. How are you doing? Another one of the fine men of the community. Absolute delight and sweetheart. Not sure how long I'll be going for, and judging from life as a parent. Let's see what I can get done. That monkey lived on Mars because his art is out of this world. Uh, you know what? Some of the pictures he was sharing last year, it really did look like Mars. <laughs> and I'm not talking about his art. Oh. Unfortunately, that form of Mars has shifted more towards uh, mine and Dastardly's uh, neck of the woods. It's, it's surreal. I mean, the artist in me is absolutely in love with the color that the sun is at sunset. But the empathic human in me hates the reason for it. So it, it's that awe and, and dread at the same time. And it's so surreal.
Mm. Yes. Yeah, we're having the caterpillar problem here too. So many places, uh, you know, many trees have tape on them and it's, it's weird. You know, like, who thought we'd have a caterpillar problem? Especially after all the stuff we saw last year. I mean, attack of the killer caterpillars. I, 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 yeah, I never would have called that one. Just a touch. I know I'm mumbling. This is one of the things Maki and I have in common, and I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I don't have a playlist like he does, unfortunately. Honestly, it might be an artist thing. Just to get silent as they go. I'd rather um, Rambler give you the silent treatment when I try. <laughs> uh, going quiet is, honestly, it's my natural setting. I come from a big family of talkers. You know, lots of loud people all talking over each other. A lot of the time, not always in the same language. <laughs> So I just took after my grandfather, you know. I sit back and I just listen. Which is definitely has made doing the whole YouTube, especially in a panel very interesting experience because you know there's a lot of people where talking is their natural setting and which would make sense for you know doing YouTube but yeah there's just as many of it and not just as many that When you sit down in front of us, like in real life, you'll probably have a whole conversation. There's there's a bunch I could have a whole conversation with without saying a word. Yeah. Which, I don't know if that statement makes sense to anybody <laughs> oh yeah i'd rather ramble get the silent treatment when i draw either yeah have they got giant 40 foot killer caterpillars in canada no um it's uh 
correct me if I'm wrong, Dastardly. I believe it's somebody brought in uh, some silk caterpillars with the intention of, you know, getting it started out here or something like that. And, and it just, there's a reason they keep saying, you know, don't bring these things because there's no natural predator for it out here right now. So we're doing what we always do. Trying to stem the paint. Trying to, you know, save what we can while nature adapts. Because, yeah, you saw him uh, dastardly mention about the pine beetle. That was a real big problem a while back. So what they did is they... Uh, started putting up um, birdhouses for uh, woodpeckers all over the place to attract them. Nature will always protect its own, but sometimes a little helping hand doesn't hurt. <gasps> Thanks, guys, guy. Yep. That, that's the main reason why they, they always tell you. That they say, you know, don't bring in any, you know, you got to be careful with flora and fauna and all of that when you're transporting back and forth. Because it seems completely random. But when there's, it's not native, there's nothing that would naturally control it. Like, even with flowers, it's a pro it can be a problem. Like, I remember back when I was in high school, they would bring in... Uh, somebody brought in purple loose strife. Which, well, absolutely pretty and apparently dries absolutely gorgeous, is not native to here. So, it literally grew everywhere. And it's still, to this day, it's still everywhere. And they actually encouraged people to pick it as much as possible. Weirdo. Yes, I'm calling my cat a weirdo. Get off my paint. Yeah, that. I know my mood hasn't been like super great lately and it's I admit this it's this whole starfire thing is a huge contributor to it. Yeah. In it's the misplaced outrage. This is one of those things absolutely people should be angry about. And, you know, should be talking about and saying that, yeah, th this is this is not what we didn't want this, this, this is not desirable, that kind of stuff. But of the 
hundreds of things to be upset about. The weight should be a non-issue. But that's what everyone is focusing on. I mean, not the fact that it is clearly trashing Starfire. You know, it's a character that was just a complete self-insert. And when there's already an established daughter, I mean, they didn't even do the research enough to get a decent name because they gave her the name of Mandy Starfire. And if you haven't seen my video, I do go into that with uh, about uh, the back history of Starfire. Because if anything, it would be fire would be the the as close to a last name as possible. Because her sister's Blackfire. Um, again, I've I've got it in my Starfire video. I'm trying. I'm drawing a blank on what the father's name was, but it was the same idea. But Earthwise, her name should have been, her last name should have been Grayson. I mean, they, they have, I don't know what fell. Uh, they have, you know, Starfire running around in lingerie. And that's, that's not right. Well, hey, Keely Chow. Oh. I'm ignoring the chat, sorry. We are being overrun by gray squirrels and now they're overtaking our red squirrels. You know, uh, red squirrels are terrifying. Yes, we had a buddy sighting. Uh, I, I'm not going to call it horrific until I, I see. But no, I... I um, I have not seen the, the Batgirl casting at this point. And greetings, Steve. Or good evening. Evening, night, night. I don't buy comics so it doesn't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, you know, you sometimes outrage, you know, being angry is, is a good thing. It's necessary. It, it motivates change. And that I'll, I'll go into in a, in a future video, but... But it has to be directed right. And for me, it really feels like complaining about this girl's weight is exactly what they want people to do. It's a misdirection. Gives them something to focus on to to say. Oh, see, yes, th this, these people are really this bad. Yeah, they're just being toxic because it's about the girl's weight. When there are so many things really genuinely wrong with this. Okay. Uh, um. 
I'm not going into that race swapping gender thing. I, I learned my lesson on that one. I am not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Because last time I got called racist because I suggested they dye someone's hair. Um, Geistar came to my help, and that was pretty much it. So, yeah. Very happy with how he's turning out. Uh, I'll have to die just a little bit more. <laughs> right? they had just made a comic and left the characters from the comic universe out of it, it would, could have worked. Absolutely. I mean, I still question some of the story points behind uh, I'm not Starfire, but... You know, that's me. College brochures, really. Uh, riding the coattails... Uh, known characters is what's making folks upset. No, I, I, and again, I get that. And it's not just the writing of the coattails. It's a fact that, yeah, they, they are completely trashing Starfire in this process. And that's something that's definitely worth being upset about. But like I said, let's focus on the anger where it should be. And not give in to the misdirection. <laughs> I hardly ever get called a racist, which is weird given all the crap I say. I know, not, that's the funny part. Because normally, you know, I, said, I, would, I thought for the longest time that if somebody actually had the balls to turn around and call me a racist, they would get laughed at on Twitter. This is why I think it surprised the hell out of me. <sighs> yeah, I have no idea. He has water dishes. I have no idea. He's just weird. Like I said, he eats lettuce. I decide on a pose for Rogue for the Sunday stream. I'm still trying to decide on what I'm drawing for tomorrow's stream. I'm drawing a blank here, too. Misdirection is a form of deception. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I get called a racist because I don't want my favorite characters swapped, but I'm clearly not a racist. I'm, I, 
yeah. I don't think most people really understand what what that word means anymore. Like last year I got called racist for for me what has to be the absolute dumbest reason. I mean, a few months ago, yeah, I got called racist because, you know, I suggested they dye someone's hair because she's playing a character whose name is derived from her hair color. Apparently that's racist and blackface and all of that weirdness. I don't get it. They shut up rather quick when I pointed out, you know, that they could tell Beyonce she's doing blackface. Just saying. But, uh... You know, for... I got in an argument last year when the whole, the, the person has to be the same skin color and all of that, and the same background as the character they're voicing. You know, debate. And I got into that discussion on Twitter. And I turned around and responded to somebody of, well, I have a dream that one day people will be judged by the content of their character and not the color of their skin. So literally pulling the Dr. King quote. And I got called racist for that. I, I, I'm still wrapping my head around that one. I don't understand how that's, how this, how that's racist. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. I know a lot of us have said it, and there's been, like, so many memes. But, yeah, more and more, I'm starting to think Thanos had the right idea. I mean, his aim was wrong, because, you know, he got rid of all the good-looking ones. But... And got rid of T'Challa, got rid of Sam... So that, that I can't stand by, but Twitter is mental. I made a comment about Jody Whitaker earlier and have been having comments all day. Yep. Right? <laughs> I don't even understand how that works. Like, in the current climate, I'm either racist or a fetish, fetishist, or fetishizing, and I, I can't win, you know? There are even people that, that say, even, you know, oh, even though you date, yeah, yeah, you're still racist. I mean, no, no, that, 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 baby, that's not how that works. <laughs> I mean, literally, uh, there is, you know, you know, Michelle will, like in the chat, she will attest, my oldest friend. Like, I grew up around him and his siblings. 
because our mom used to babysit them like and they they were complicated weird relationship but you know in, in a lot of aspects they were in kind of in a form of family i mean but you know that they are jamaican heritage Probably going to go for like about 15 more minutes. I know Scott's doing, supposed to be doing the dump tonight, so I don't want to overstep them and Maki and all of that. And, well, like I said the other day, very likelihood that I'll be working on this on Thursday. But largely, I just wanted to come out and work on it a bit and hang out and just just chat, you know. sure when that starts so Steak is going to be on Mars stream, co-piloting. Awesome. Uh, later on, I'll actually... I'm not surprised about this, but yeah, I got an invite uh, to the OOC. Very happy about that. Oh, OOC is a show here on YouTube on uh, Big Afford Entertainment's channel. And the show is called Off Our Chest.
Much as there's a large part of me that wants to keep going on this, I still have a far way to go. And as you can tell, somebody else has wandered off, so time to wrap it up. Catch you guys later. Oh, hey, McCracken. <laughs> excellent timing but yeah um tomorrow of course you can sorry later today uh, about 10 30 you can find me uh with big afford entertainment where we're going to be celebrating the ooc's one year anniversary of this fantastic show and i have said it so many times and i will keep saying it i have not been excited about a youtube live stream like this since I discovered some black eyes and a drunk, which is the previous name of the Dark Council. So when I say, yo, go, go watch this. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously, yo, go watch this. <laughs> they have funny moments, but for the most part, they hit some really big topics and there's like really nothing that is off the table. So it can get quite heavy at times, but it's a good show. Uh, tomorrow um, is Thursday with Mockany 90, and that's at 5 o'clock Eastern, um, 2 Pacific. Uh, I, believe it, I believe that's the right time. Uh, Queen's Council will be on Christie's channel tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be sitting in on that one or not. We'll see. But either way, go send my girls some love. And you know what? Yeah. Time to head out. Take care of Dastardly. Time Prophet, Megatron, um, Kraken, let me think. We had Thomas Gildke. We had the Absolutely handsome Michael in the house. Um, who else? I know Michelle showed up. Steve. Uh, Keely Chow. I am so afraid I'm going to miss somebody. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I do. Dad man walking. Almost missed you. Uh, Ancient one, brightest day. Bone, yes. I think that's everybody. Becky. And of course, if you're catching this on the replay, hit the like, share it out. Yeah, love y'all. Yeah, there we go. Nice and centered. Catch you later. <laughs>